Good evening, everyone. This makes me laugh, Samori. Shallow Hal, Alex, I love that, deleted my comment because I said the only friend she has is the ones who fall for her BS. And, and, I, and that might be even, you might be generous on that too, because honestly, I don't think she has any friends. No. They're pretend friends. How is everyone? Hi, Erica. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarahi. Hello, Erica. Sorry, I'm really thirsty. I just came back in from checking on the chickens. Because someone said they weren't sure if the chickens needed food. He didn't notice if they needed it. <laughs> Heavy size. <laughs> I told him that was an answer our children would give me. <laughs> So, uh, yesterday we made a, we had an appointment on my birthday. We had an appointment. And so it was, uh, we, I made him stop by, um, check your supply to make me feel better. And, you know, to check on the chickens to see what chickens they had. Oh, thank you, Natasha. Um, to see if they had like any new chickens, specifically lavender Orpingtons. I'm getting some blue Cochins in June, but I really want some lavender Orpingtons too, as well. He's not shaking his head, so that might be a possibility. Oh, there's a heavy sigh. <laughs> so he bought me this really, really cute little mug that says, um, Four More scores four, and seven chickens. chickens. <laughs> seven chickens ago. Is that what it was? Seven chickens ago. And it's um, Abraham Lincoln with a chicken on his shoulder. And then there's like newspaper print on the inside with a whole bunch of chickens in it. It's so pretty. It's cute. And I used it this morning. Instead of having my iced coffee, I had um, actual legitimate hot coffee this morning. And then he took me to have uh, queso for lunch this morning. Or for lunch, not this morning. Queso for lunch before we ran our errands. So that was my, my birthday lunch. Um, let's see. Hold on. I got to close the window there because it was distracting me. So I hope everyone has had a good Thursday. Or as Natasha says, a good Friday Eve. Um, what else is, what else are we doing? Two of my kids are going camping this weekend. So we're going to be kidless at the fair, which was, which will be great. Um, not that it's not great with them, without, with them, because they run around like little fair kids and have fun, uh, I was so excited. One of our friends works one of the little booths, the food booths, and she messaged me, I guess, Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember. But she's like, oh, my gosh, your youngest son came up and uh, it was so polite with his little friend and they got food from me. I don't think he knew who I was. I was like, well, that makes it a million times better because that means that he was polite and uh, didn't know you know who we are. So. Yeah, because he didn't really ever go to the cabin fiddle days. That's right. He she used to work at this um um pub that we always go to to have mead and she moved vendors 
So he didn't know who she was. So that was a good thing that he, be, he was polite. I'm so excited. So excited. Let's see. Janae says she has a clinical skills assessment tomorrow. Ooh, good luck, girl. Good luck. Um, let's see. I'm, you know, doing the normal. Let's wait to see if anybody else joins in. Let's see. I got, um, let's see. Obese shopping network, Laura, Natasha, Erica, got Erica before Laura, Lizzie, John A rebuilding, Yana, <sighs> Tar. I'm really thirsty. Goodness gracious. Elena, um, I have, I obviously, I have not seen the video for today. Um, this just, the, the I'm going to go ahead and play it because I want to show what I'm looking at on the pause screen. Um, they... It's, I think it's coming up. They look like they're waiting for their alien family to come take them away. Oh, there it is. My mothership. It's coming to take us home. I, I, I heard it was boring. Definitely boring. But, you know, hey. I can make it fun. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> And then there's Yar, who clearly hasn't a clue. Okay, there's a, there it is. Clearly hasn't a clue that he needed to, you know, not look at the damn sun. Hello. Like, he looks like he's pained. Like, oh, what the hell was I doing? Why was I looking at the sun? Like, oh my God. Seriously? Good grief. Okay, let's see. Um, as always, uh, the one thing I can hold over Alex is she didn't get the amazing, no, that's no joke, Sarah. The, you're not late, Brina. We just started. We haven't even watched it. This is the pause screen at the beginning of the, um, at the beginning of the thing. Um, but, uh. The I was seriously not really even gonna even partake in the eclipse because it was so hyped up. But then I realized why it was hyped up when I said, "Okay, I'll go outside." Mainly because my bonus dad was sitting outside by himself, and I felt bad, so I went out there. And uh, we uh, had a great view. And the <laughs> I know I told y'all the other day. If y'all haven't seen it, I posted on my personal TikTok. I don't have a country shade tree TikTok. Um, I have my own TikTok. Um, and I posted the chickens marching to the coop when the, uh, when it started, it was, it's great. Um, I put it to the Imperial March, which is near and dear to my heart because I actually walked down the aisle to, um, the Imperial March from Star Wars. So, okay. What, hey, Shayna and Kaz. Okay. Let's see. We're, we're just going to go ahead and start here. Drove from Colorado to Texas for it. It's amazing. Did Lizzie, did you get like the full totality um, part of it? Because that was, that was awesome. She looks disabled. <laughs> And she's in her wheelchair, Tangy. She's in her wheelchair. Had a hall Harry Potter music. Well, okay. So I said we were fixing to start. Then I'm not. Um, this is her most annoying one yet. So the joke behind the Imperial March. My husband loves Star Wars. Like totally, totally loves Star Wars. Um, and one night, one day we were just sitting and I had been working on music for the wedding. And I jokingly said to him, hey, what if I march down the aisle to the Imperial March? And he said, no. 
And I was, didn't even, she didn't even get. Oh no, I didn't even. I didn't even ask him. I just started playing it, and he. It was a very quick no. And I was like, challenge accepted. So, it the way I walked was I let I came out the front door of the house and down the porch and walked a ways to the aisle and um from there it was the imperial march to the end of the aisle and then when I got to the aisle uh, and march walked up to him it was um marry me by oh my gosh why right. can't train by train so <laughs> So, uh, so the Imperial March, I, I like to use it for all kinds of things because it's so near and dear to my heart. He did drop his head as soon as he heard it start playing. <laughs> like, I know she didn't, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't. <laughs> Hi, Nella. Okay. So let, let's, let's go ahead and start this boring mess of a vlog. I mean... We're still searching for baby shower venues to sh throw our own baby shower in June. By the way, you notice she said she has a specific, sp specific date picked out. Um, do we think it's around June 13th? Because, you know, you know, they're that that's their date that she claims was their first date then their wedding date then their vow renewal date so is this going to be her baby shower date too because y'all i'm so over june 13th with her prison tattoo on her hand <sighs> by the way i don't think their first date was june 13th either I think it was before then. So. It's a skinny. It's skinny. Mom and I are checking. What the fuck? What is skinny? Oh, okay. I, I can't even get past that. What is skinny? I know. June 13th is a Thursday. June 13th is a Thursday. I know. But, you know, it's Alex. So, you know, there's that. We just have to remember that. Checking out a baby shower venue and Dell's lemonade <laughs> when you need a refresher. Ass cry ass cream. <laughs> Here, just just take take the camera for the love. How much does he get paid to be in this? Oh god. Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I just went ahead and did our weekly I'm I know that we all don't want to see her. with her skimpy tanks and her camis and all of this on it. Um, but um, I'm kind of tired of the sweatshirts too. And why are we going grocery shopping again? How many times can, how many times can a person go grocery shopping for two people? Like, his cameraman fee, or his chauffeuring fee. Then she just went on a, like a big haul last week of groceries, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six bags, maybe six. And didn't she go grocery shopping like on Sunday's vlog? Oh no, she went to return some stuff and then went to Trader Joe's. I think is what I heard. I didn't watch it. But good grief. Grocery shop. I was going to bring you guys, but the grocery store was so busy. I got a little overwhelmed. And I didn't. The grocery store was a little over busy, so I got overwhelmed. Maybe go out amongst people, Alex. Then you wouldn't get so damn overwhelmed at the grocery store. I'm not vlogging there. I figured I could do a little haul, show you guys what I got for the week. We know cucumbers and hummus. I eat it every day. Literally, don't miss it. I'm gonna do Didn't she just get cucumbers and hummus in the last one? Cucumber, or not cucumbers, hummus is two tablespoons per serving. And I want to say that it is like 120 calories 
per serving. So it's not a calorie, an inexpensive, cal um, this is going to sound stupid, but an inexpensive calorie snack. It's, it's, it's a pricey calorie snack. So really, I sound stupid like her, but it made sense to my, in my head. So we're going to go with it and we're not going to make fun of me for that. We got to think on her level because I know she's going to watch it at some point. So there's that. Two spaghetti and meatballs one night. So I got some holy spaghetti. She doesn't count. Cal I know. Calories are non-existent in Alex's world. Very non-existent. And if I don't see your comments in the chat, it's because it goes by so quickly because you guys love the chat. And I love that. I love that for you guys because y'all are just listening to me. Y'all know most of y'all have probably already watched it. So y'all just get to hear me watch it and laugh at my stupid commentary. See, y'all and I love good string cheese. And she's on a 1.25, so I don't have her slowed down because, God, I can't do that. Yes, we are out of ketchup. I have a nail appointment in 30 minutes, so I'm rushing. We're going to try this Miyoko's oat milk butter. Right? So she's had, how far back is this? Because she's got the orange nails, and we know how, how long she had the um, blue nails. Like, are we backlogged again? You know, oh, wait, she's ahead in vlogs. I forgot. She doesn't know how to talk. And the sunglasses. Thank you, Erica, for pointing that out. The $500 headband. This was on sale, so I got that for our pasta sauce. That Yo Mama's one did not have enough flavor. Oh, my God. Okay, I am going to have to search out because I know that she had tried the Yo Mama's one before. And she said the same damn thing. It didn't have enough flavor. But they don't eat pasta every all the time. But two, two shopping halls here, we've had pasta sauce. What goes with pasta sauce? Pasta. <sighs> this time I'm like, just get the big. Empty. <laughs> Empty carbs and shattered dreams is what Mr. Texas Girl says. <laughs> if you guys, if any of you guys are new to listening to me in the chat, sometimes my husband will chime in. He is not listening to anything because I have it on. Uh, my ear, I have it in the earbuds and he can't hear anything she's saying or anything that's going on on the screen because he has his Xbox on and I'm on my laptop. So he doesn't hear anything. He hears what I say, say and then he goes with it just to catch you up and inform you when you hear the random voice in the background. Hi, Jane. Okay. Uh. Hey, Thomas. <laughs> I keep buying... The smaller ones, I got these little sodas for Yar. I also got those are not for Yar, those are for her. Don't lie. Don't you be lying. Like a Persian rug. Some non for hummus. So, like, even if for lunch, I want to have like cucumber non and hummus. It's good. We're gonna try there's bread. So we're we've got pasta, we've got bread, we've got carbonation. Okay. Try out the Beyond Burger burgers. Um, the Beyond Meat. Beyond Burger Burgers, because we tried the Beyond Meat um, faux meat. I don't know, what am I saying? When I made those tacos last week, they were really good. We don't typically eat a lot of red meat. We're usually like ground turkey people, but this tastes so much more like beef and it still has like no color. She knows that she can get iron with red meat, right? She, she, she knows that, right? She knows as a gastric bypass patient, and while she does not want to discuss it, she needs that extra iron. Okay. Cholesterol, um, lower in fat and all that, and still a ton of protein. So I kind of want to see, I think Yara does too, want to put them on the grill. And I also got some chicken breast. I am I marinating yeah. some chicken in Italian dressing for dinner tonight. I'm just going to do it with smashed potato, little baby potatoes and some veggies. And then with the burgers, I'm going to do smashed potatoes. So we have the pasta. The we, yeah. we have the potatoes. We have the naan. 
and we have the hummus, which is again, I don't think I, if I remember correctly, um, I haven't had hummus in a long time because I don't think it has a lot of um, protein. Okay, so the Beyond Burger plant-based patty, one patty is 230 calories. Just the patty alone, you guys, just the patty alone. And we know they're going to put it on a burger bun. Um, it has 20 grams of protein. So she's got it there, but 390, is it milligrams, MG? Yeah. Milligrams. I, I get so confused with those, um, uh, of sodium. Holy crap. That's a lot. Um, but apparently, you know, if you get it from whole foods, it's good for you. Okay. No. <laughs> Yeah, we're okay. I have it on pause. Oh, corn. I love a summery meal. The next couple days are going to be in the 60s. Um, Obese Shopping Network. I actually stopped. I paused it so I could look up um, the Beyond Meat stuff in my bariatric app to check the macros and all that good jazz stuff. And I know that's not that warm, but it will, it will feel like summer. Oh, and then buns for those. Oh, more bread. Um, more bread. Jack cheese. Some Siggy's yogurt. Oh, I got this for Yar. Ginger lemonade. He loves ginger. So when I saw that, I'm like, I think he would love that. And he can put his matcha powder in it. And also some sparkling lemon water. Just two bananas. Oh, is that for Yar too? Was that for Yar too? Okay bananas because we still have a bunch but we both eat a banana like every day who goes and buys two fucking bananas because you have a lot left oh my god make banana bread you're you're eating bread anyway you're, you're make banana bread like who buys two bananas other than like an old lady who it lives by herself oh my god um, I've been plowing through berries, <laughs> so I got more berries. Uh, we got raspberry and blueberry okay. and grapes constantly. I am a berry person. I love berries. We got strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries today at Sam's. I don't do grapes. You know why? Because grapes, grapes, grapes are little candy bombs. They're little sugar, they're little they're little bombs of sugar. That's all they are. <sighs> like, I can't do grapes now because they they make me sick because they are so sugar heavy. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie. How many? We have six pounds of bananas in the kitchen right now. But um, in my defense, I have five goats that love bananas. So there's that. Yeah. Still loving fruit this pregnancy. Yars oranges, these were not. I'm still loving fruit this pregnancy. You loved fruit before you got pregnant. Eating is not, is not, pregnancy is not an excuse for you to be eating because you ate before this. You ate way before January. You ate a lot way before January. <sighs> Dear Jesus, please let me make it through this. Amen. Massive. And then this last bag here, more fruit. Have it. Okay. Hold on, Obese Network. Hold on. Uh, Shana says, I haven't seen a real green veggie, only corn correctly. Shana, she had many cucumbers. Many cukes to go with her hummus. But I think those are, wait, aren't cucumbers, since they have seeds, they're considered a vegetable, a fruit? Uh, uh, no, they're considered a vegetable. They're considered a vegetable. So, Shana, they had, they, she has many cukes. Um, I have a question for you, husband. Uh, please ask your husband if he would immediately check her glucose if he had her as a patient, no matter what her chief complaint was. Oh, absolutely. He says, Absolutely. The more, the more important thing with her would be 
not only checking her current blood sugar, but her A1C and then how much protein was in her urine because of high risk pregnancy. Protein urea is what causes eclampsia. I mean, I bet when she was pregnant, it's like, oh, you're pregnant. By the way, you have preeclampsia. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I would almost bet. Um, can you see her lips? Right there? Yeah. Do they look blue? Not to me. Not to you. He says her lips don't look blue. Maybe we're not. It's a, maybe it's not a, um, they're not, they're not blue enough yet. Four smoothies, four cold brew. A lot of fruit. Oh, she's also wearing makeup. Okay. Yeah, she is wearing makeup. You're right, Sarah. Sorry. Um, but a lot of fruits, like you saw the frozen fruit. So she's gotten two juices, the ginger juice and then the, the lemon and then the what, orange juice? And then she had the corn. Now she's got the um, coffee, pre-made coffee. Which I bet has a butt ton of sugar. Mm -hmm. I think it's the Khalifa Farms. I can't remember if it does or not. Uh, Elena, or no, Erica, the couch. Um, the couch cover, what if you notice, there's a blanket right there. The pillows aren't nearly as bad as what I saw, but I think as the vlog progresses, you see the pillows more where um, she's laying down. Isn't that seven day slime behind? Uh, Natasha, yes, you really have to watch the fruit because of the sugar. Uh, berries are okay because they don't, their berries are okay in moderation. I normally eat them. I'll go and grab like a handful or um, I'll put them in my yogurt, my Greek yogurt, not my nasty, snotty, yo play grossness that she was eating. Um, but like I said, the grapes, grapes are a no go for me at least. And especially the ones that are modified to be like champagne sweet or or the cotton candy ones. Yeah. Yeah, those are those are hard. Um what else is there? I can't do mango. I tried mango last week or the week before. That was a big no Penelope. The um pouch was like, uh, don't try that again. We are not in agreement with that. Um I can do bananas, but it's like, I don't eat the whole, I don't eat the whole one. Uh, normally a, a goat gets some of it. I'm trying to think if there's any other apples are sometimes hard too. So she is like a gastric bypass medical unicorn at this point. Been back into coffee. I just have uh, one. She's back into coffee. She's back into coffee. Of course. Small cup, but like, I didn't like it for the first trimester. Now I'm back into it. And then his nasty green juice. We love a healthy king. His. He gets the green juice because he's the healthy king. Unlike his wife, who is not the healthy queen. So that's everything for the week. I'm going to put this away super quick and then head to my nail appointment. I kind of want to do blue since the gender is revealed. But yeah, we're. We still have the tampon strings on the wreath over here. I just wanted to point that out so y'all can see it. For the past two weeks on this orangey red, which I did for vacation. So I don't know. There's a solid chance I just do something neutral. But um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll she feel it out. She chose an ugly blue. Oh, I am not going to lie. But if she was... Mm, don't touch their stuff. Don't. If I am. If I am going to be doing your nails. Don't you touch my shit. Don't touch my shit. Her hands are ugly. She tries. To, she tries these. This shape. This almond shape. To make her hands look dainty. 
but they don't look dainty. I'm sorry, they just don't. And I say that as a woman that does not have dainty hands either. But I'm also tall. Six and a half hours later. All right, we just had dinner. Don't ask why we're back on our ninja creamy bullshit because I. Oh, she's back on a creamy bullshit. <laughs> he nearly choked on his own spit, I think. <laughs> Oh, hold on. She said her gastric bypass. Do we, uh, okay, yeah. A, a, e, having a primary position that does not understand the gastric bypass is so damn hard. I have had to have them put in my, um, chart. my chart that I'm allergic to, um, oh my God, insects. Because as a gastric bypass patient, you can't have NSAIDs. Um, so I just have them put under there that I'm allergic to it. So I don't get it. Uh, but I still have to remind them that I can't have NSAIDs. Like when I went back, when I had to go, go see them after I fell and he wanted to give me NSAIDs, I was like, I can't, I can't do that. And yeah, because he wanted you to take meloxicam. Yeah. So, you know. I got it filled. I think I I had one because I my ner the what is it nurse practitioner. nurse practitioner was like you can do it as long as you don't do it every day. So um let's see former scribe here indication lists and charts include more than just allergies can write down for a reason okay see they should have done that i i'm not i haven't been really pleased with my primary care physician um so i will probably be on the hunt for a new one and i but think you're not going to put them on blast either but i'm not going to put them on blast um so uh i think that might be one thing i'm going to ask them about is if they have any um knowledge of gastric bypass patients and that and whatnot because i did that with my obgyn um so okay well, let me hide that let's go back so we're gonna make some light vanilla ice cream with chocolate chips how bad does she screw this up did your doctor fat shame you? No, Tiffany, my doctor's, my doctor's never fat shamed me. He's actually, you know, told me the truth. All the, the two doctor, the two primary care physicians I've had in my whole life, um, they've told me the truth, which is you need to lose weight because you are obese. I am now not obese, but you know. Um, okay, so... D d do does she, does she screw this up? I think she screws it up. I guarantee you she probably screws this up and gets ice cream shit everywhere. I feel like we never got it mastered, but we're going to try again. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. <laughs> I'm glad I have you are here. Did he shave the porn stash off? Please tell me he did. Please tell me. She makes this with almond milk and the recipe calls for half or wait. Fat-free, half and half. Does it matter what the amount of cheese that she consumes? <laughs> Why even bother? <laughs> with me. Oh, but I got my nails done. They're blue. Um, you guys, did I show that? I don't know. I'm glad I had you here with me. Because realistically, I'm probably messing this up. But I went to put it in the freezer. She even says she's probably messing it up. And look at him looking at her like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, just look at that face. Like, he is so over her. Like, he's over her. I would be. I mean, that's just me, but, you know. He goes, babe, was there foam? I mean, there was foam. We have to let the foam. See, that's the reaction. That reaction said, the reaction that he had right then should have been his reaction when she called him a mother effer the other day. See, I, I censored myself on that one subside 
I had not done that before. That, that's a key point right there. <laughs> it is. You know? That's a key point. It's like. It's probably probably was making the texture all weird on top. That's probably why the texture came out a little odd. Funky. Yeah. yeah so this is literally just unsweetened vanilla almond. These two quote unquote adults are going to be parents to an infant. To an infant. They are going to be in charge of an, another human being. It's already bad enough they're in charge of a dog. But they're... they're oh. Milk, stevia, vanilla, and then we'll add the chocolate chips tomorrow. <sighs> I hope it's good. I hope so. I don't know. He has, I have a love hate relationship with the Ninja Creamy. Oh, babe, do you want to put down the new rug? <laughs> Maybe... Alex, this is just a thought. Just just a tiny, 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 tiny thought. If you followed the directions as it's stated in the recipe, you might not fuck it up. Just a thought. Just a thought. Did you get it? Yeah, it's right there. It's folded up because it's like machine washable, so it's like bendable. Um, I know I'm on camera, <laughs> but not tonight. So, well, for them, for them. Wait a minute, what? What? what, what? I gotta hear that again. Okay, hold on. Just unsweetened vanilla, almond milk, stevia, vanilla, and then we'll add the chocolate chips tomorrow. <sighs> I hope it's good. I hope so. I don't know. I have a love hate relationship with the Ninja Creamy. Oh, babe, do you wanna put down the new rug? <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, it's right there. It's folded up because it's like machine washable, so it's like bendable. Um, I know I'm on camera, <laughs> but not tonight. At some point. Well, for, them, for them, it'll be like a two second edit. Yeah. Didn't wait, hold on. Didn't they already have didn't they already have a rug under there? Did they not? Okay. She buys so many damn rugs. Oh, and they have matching ugly Uggs. Okay. Oh, I love it. That is like the perfect color. Alright, so we need to center it with the center of the lamp. You guys, you, you guys, um, the lines, the creases, the lines and the creases, does that bother anybody else? That, it bothers me. I know it'll probably work itself out, but. Will it really? <laughs> but yeah, but it, will it really work itself out? Um, here's the other thing. Um, but B, BJ, it, it's because it's, it's bendable. That's it's been bendable. Um, it's like when you put a tablecloth on a table without washing it beforehand or ironing it, and you get this. Why does she have to have a rug under the table anyways? I, I don't really care for rugs under, I don't care for rugs under the table. I don't care for like carpet in the dining room because uh, stains, That that's what it is, stains. Those are some muscly legs right there. Look at that booty. Woo, that's a muscly booty. Mm -mm -mm. Don't y'all want to hit that? Don't look at me like that. No, sir. Don't you don't you look at me. <laughs> it's not oh my god, it's not in the center. It's not in the center. Somebody get tape measure. It's not in the center. Oh, thank you. They moved it. It's still an ugly table. Okay, you okay. guys. She just put that rug down without like one of those rug thingies under it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The the rug grip gripper. The rug gripper. Bruno was like, y'all are dumb. The rug is on and I am in love with it. This was like the rug is on. The rug is on. Such a good price. We decided to remove the big rug here because I felt a little intrusive with this one. And I would rather have the rug here just because, like, guys, please don't do dark hardwood floors. <laughs> Don't do it. We were warned not to do it. Those don't look dark to me. Don't. Oh, that hand. Oh my God. Why did I pause there? I was said. I was. Oh God. Her floors don't look dark. They look like a grayish color. It's just. Uh, 
And I'm sorry, I think you need a rug at the door for when the dog comes in or for when you come in from outside. And the round rug with the round table, just it's a lot of round. It's a lot of round. Okay, with cleaning it all the time. I am vacuuming this thing like multiple times a day. You can see. Oh, heaven forbid she's she's um, vacuuming multiple times a day. Oh my God, heaven forbid. She actually has to be active. Every crumb all the time, especially our dog. Why do you, are you that messy that you have crumbs? Like you don't even have a child. Wait till you have a child. Wait till that child is bo born and toddling around. You thought it, oh. She is complaining about the crumbs right now. She's the girl. Girl. Dog doesn't shed, but if you have a dog that sheds, it's all over. Were you playing with your toys? So you don't. Oh, she just blamed it on Bruno. Mm, she just blamed it on Bruno. Like if we eat here, there's always visible crumbs on the ground. Um, it's just a lot. We've had a rug. There's always visible crumbs on the ground. She got the rug so she wouldn't have to sweep up the crumbs a million times a day. So what she's saying is, is the rug is a crumb grabber and is going to hold the crumbs for days on end. For the love of God. For the love of God. Hear it before, but um, I didn't like the style of it. So this one is from Amazon. I'll link it. It is so perfect because it even has, I don't know how we got lucky with this, this little bit of blue here. Is Laura here? Laura is a groomer. Laura, if you're still here, do Bernadoodles shed? I know Great Pyrenees shed. Yes, Laura Nichols. I need to make Shayna a moderator <laughs> so she can tag people. Uh, okay, Laura, so you're here. Did Bernadoodle shed? Because she just blamed the um, shed the some of the the stuff on the floor on on poor 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 Bruno. Because I thought they were high. Like, yeah, Shayna, I thought they were hypoallergenic. Okay, so we'll wait for Laura. Here is the same color as our island bottom. It's like a grayish blue because I was worried about it matching our pad here. All mammals shed, but his breed is very low shedding. She shouldn't be seeing stuff on her floor. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. And the rug here and kind of you know, like being cohesive, but somehow it's perfect. I like the lighter color of it since that rug is mostly dark and it's also very thin and washable. You can just throw the whole thing in the wash. Okay. So she didn't get this at Ruggable. She got it on Amazon. Is that what I'm understanding? None of these match. None of these. Thank you, MD. None of these rugs match. I didn't close them up or get the eggs, by the way. Um, none of these rugs match at all and the bottom is grippy so you don't have to worry about it like slipping and sliding it did come folded so it's gonna like settle down with time i am in love okay you guys i am now getting ready oh god i i can't i saw a clip of this and um her her acne is raging most women who are pregnant or get pregnant um their skin clears up. Not her. Not her. Okay. So I thought I would show you guys my really new, like, quick makeup routine. Oh, my lips are so dry. I'm telling you, this is so fast. And if you are acne, hyperpigmentation. You don't have hyperpigmentation. It is all acne. Hyperpigmentation means that she has darker skin. 
Hyperpigmentation means she has darker skin. We know she does not. Thank you, Obese Shopping Network. Yet she has no no pregnancy globes whatsoever. It is a doll. If you have any of whatever, this will give you just a perfect... Wash your hair more often. Wash your pillowcases more often. Maybe, 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 maybe eat better. Amount of coverage and sun protection. Okay, so I have these two that I mix. These are the Color Science Skin Flex SPF. It's uh, 50 plus and is water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes. So if you get sweaty or want to swim um, and it gives protection from like you for 40 minutes. VA, UVB, pollution, blue light and infrared light radiation. I feel like this is the perfect freaking formula. Um, this is not sponsored. I just love it. So I bought these on Amazon. This hair, these roots, this is, I'm sorry, that is just awful. It's awful. Um, Erica, I think she got another color science with the SPF to like um, combine them to match her, what she thinks is a tan. Amazon. And I also just got this from Amazon as well. Blush. So instead of just using a regular liquid blush, I can use this one. So I'm also going to get just Jesus. more sun protection. She's trying to get a color science sponsor. So I have both the fair and medium. There's no like light. It's just fair and the medium. Hey, Kelly. The fair is just a little too light. The medium is just a little too dark unless I'm tan tan. This was good when I was um, like fully tan from the Florida trip. But now I mix them. And fully tan before her trip. How is she fully tan before her trip? Because she didn't go outside. Oh, that's right. That's the reason why she was going to Planet Fitness was to tan in the tanning beds. Take her um, bathroom selfie. <coughs> her bathroom selfie. And her little five minute um, clip on the elliptical or treadmill and i wasn't sure how it would go because of just how the formula is because like this is what it looks like until you put it on your skin okay, but well, it is uh, perfect so i'm just going to take about the same amount of each and i am going to just blend it onto my face and i have moisturizer on from like about an hour ago and it's an oil control moisturizer and then this gives me like a little bit of hydration back on the face this dries down perfectly you guys i kid you not it is not dewy or wet looking but it doesn't dry down and get like dry and uncomfortable y'all i am convinced that she doesn't use um i'm convinced that she doesn't use the the, the purple hair the purple shampoo for her hair and thoroughly convinced that she doesn't because it wouldn't be this brassy yellow color that it is if she did. And the way she just put that stuff on her face made me cringe. She, it's like watching her do her skincare at night and when she doesn't use water. But you're still getting hydration. So I take it all over the face, up under the eyes. It gives me like a little bit of coverage there. So that is one layer of it so fast. And my mom and I are gonna take the dogs to the beach today and it's gonna be in the 60s and sunny. And I'm so excited, but we also need sun protection. So what I recently learned is that this is buildable. So I'm- Oh, so she needs sun protection at the Rhode Island beach, but not sun protection at the Florida beach. Got it, okay. That makes total sense. Absolute total sense. What are we thinking? Taking about a quarter of what I used the last time, and I'm going <gasps> oh on again because I have quite a few blemishes right now, especially over here. Quite a few blemishes. She calls her big giant zits blemishes. Blemishes that I want to cover. Blemishes. And I'm kind of shocked. I didn't think that this would be 
buildable. But you know what, you guys? It is. I'm like blending it in with your fingers. I thought it might get like a little bit streaky or like lose coverage, but it really does not. And when I blend the two together, it's like the perfect color match. And it just makes your skin look so natural. I'm telling you, I... Um, no, it doesn't make it look natural. I'm sorry. We can still see that you have big raging pimples underneath it. Just watching her put that on just it, it, a full body shiver because it's just so gross. I am absolutely in love with this routine. I've been doing this with just brow gel and mascara and like a little bit of blush and it's so fast. If you want to conceal under your eyes, you can do that as well. So you know what I'll do? I'm taking my favorite Jessup brush, Amazon brush set, the best. And then if you want to put a little concealer over any blemished areas, you can, but like, honestly, I don't really even mind how it looks with just this on. I feel like it gives me enough coverage where my skin still looks very natural. And I'm taking a- Wouldn't you put that under? Okay, I, I can't with the she is a uh, shana you are correct alex has a special way of de-influencing good products you are 100 percent correct because anytime i see her doing something i don't want to buy it um example those fucking huge ass thongs that we stretched out the other day holy shit holy shit a little bit under my eyes and I'm just going to tap that in with my finger. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And it's just going to brighten up under my eye a little bit, but seriously, on most days, I don't even bother to do this. It gives you like just enough, just enough like I put myself together look. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the little blush stick. It's the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Color Balm. You can put it on your lips, your cheeks. Um, so awesome. I think these are amazing. This brand like went viral on TikTok, I think. That's, I think that's where I discovered it. That's where I discovered No, I haven't watched I haven't noticed. Did you do um, the the thong reaction? Because if you do, I'm totally going to be all over there going and doing it. I'm going to watch it if you did, because I, I want to see your reaction. I heard I saw uh, Priscilla's reaction to the thongs after she had been told by like all of us oh my god you gotta see the thongs and when she saw she's like holy shit now i know why y'all were so like oh my god she's, oh my god okay so i'm gonna have to see what you said to her stretching out the thong because you you don't need your thong stretching out that far good god yes i'm still on the damn thong thing uh I guarantee you she only does this in hopes of getting PR. I, I, I seriously, I think that's why she's using color science because she wants them to send her stuff. I will be Johnny on the spot like Jane if I have to. For most things these days. Okay, so I also have the bronzer from them, which is great, but I've just been like into doing blush right now. So I'm just going to put some right here. And this is in the color Violet. Even if she blends that in, it's going to look at, uh, she's going to look like a clown. Like one of my favorite liquid blushes right now. So, and we're just going to, you can blend it out with your finger if you want, but I'm just using a sponge. And then it just adds a little bit of flush back into your cheeks. Like your base, it will take you a minute <laughs> when you're not filming. Now I'm going in with the NYX Thick It and Stick It Brow Mascara. I'll link everything I used. And this is in the shade uh, Brunette. And I love this stuff. Allie, it's because we all want to do that. She makes me stabby and punchy. I just run it through the brows. Like it just gives like a little bit more thickness. And I'm telling you the fact that I don't go in with powder with this is like, I don't do that ever. Okay. I am a powder girl through and through, set it with powder. And now lastly, I'm just gonna go in and do my brows with my, my brows, <laughs> my lashes. This is the best mascara. I need to go get more, especially during the Sephora sale right now. If you're gonna grab anything during the Sephora sale, the Tartlet tubing mascara, the best. I thought she loved the Thrive mascara. I thought she liked, I really thought she liked the Thrive mascara. Then I do, I usually do the e.l.f. one, but it's in my purse. This is the Dior lip oil. So just finish off with like a little lip oil. Why doesn't she just put bacon grease on her lips? That's it. That's all she needs to do. And it's like the quickest. I feel like this is like the perfect quick spring and summer makeup. And yeah, it's 
so fast. I know it doesn't like look the most makeup glasses, the special ones, um, and we're actually gonna be, like have a pretty good view of it here in Rhode Island. So it's at 3.30. I don't think I've ever seen an eclipse before. I think there was one when I was a kid, but I don't think I saw it. Also, you guys, if y'all didn't see Alan's reaction to her making those egg bites the other day, he could barely make it through. He 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 was done. He was like, nope, I'm done. I gotta go. Nope. Mm-hmm. Gotta go. Gotta go. But unless I don't remember. So I'm sure I'm sure we'll uh take part, take a gander. Mom and I are checking out a baby shower venue and it's so freaking gorgeous. Yeah, this is great, Mom. This is the first one that's like really felt right. So if it's sunny, you oh, think we can do it down there? I wonder if we can. I'll ask her. Like is yes, have a baby shower in June when it's going to be hot outside. When you're going to be 400 pounds, they're going to have to roll you down those stairs because you want to have your baby shower out and you're going to be a big ball of sweat. Is that an option? Or yeah. do we need to set it up? Well, in advance, probably. Why does Nancy wear the stupidest, most ugly hats? Seriously, why? People can wander in and out. There's a bunch of mirrors. I just love the greenery. Oh my God, you're so right. Oh, you're so right. They need to wash their windows. That's gross. Um, the, why... Why is she trying to find this fancy, fancy place when all she's going to do is make it look cheap and tacky with her balloons, paper plates, and Dollar Tree um, crepe paper bells or crepe paper baby ducks or whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. The bells, you know, the crepe, bed, um, crepe paper wedding bells that they use, like the crepe paper ducks or the crepe paper or babies or there's gonna be balloons and paper plates and crepe paper and glitter no there's not gonna be any glitter. oh that is perfect oh i love this mom this is so cute yes all this green yeah perfect really good vibe mama got a down really good vibe really good vibe really good vibe oh and look they're drinking sugar the diabetic it's drinking sugar push lemonade look at the dogs you guys thank you rebuilding you know exactly like they're gonna take the crepe paper and do the twisty thing and like string it from the ceiling to the ceiling fan to the, the this and then they're gonna have like the balloons that they're just gonna be standing up not those cool ass balloon arch things that people make no we're not gonna do that we're gonna have the mylar balloons and the little balloon bouquets that, on the little weights and they're gonna be sitting around the room or sitting on the tables because we get in a chair the wicker uh the wicker chair shana if it's like a boho a boho event but i've seen i have seen it in some influencers um, but y'all know what i'm talking about she's gonna be getting that crepe paper and doing the little twisty thing to make it really really cool and then she's gonna have the balloons everywhere uh and right uh, my my opinion uh, has my opinion. If she was having a girl, this thing would be blown away, blown out. It would be like Kim Kardashian level, but it, since it's a boy, it's not going to be that. Let's have fun. Dell's Lemonade. <laughs> when you need a refresher. <laughs> sponsor us, Dell's. Oh, yeah. No, Dell's. Don't sponsor them because they're idiots. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She is for sure doing the chocolate in the diaper shower game. Well, they can do the toilet paper one because she might take offense to it where they measure around her belly. They might measure too low and she's going to say, no, the baby's up here under my titties. Ooh, a baby, a pinata. Then it's filled with candy, you know, for her and her mom. Yeah. Oh my goodness, crazy. What kind of candy do you take? Do you do, you do at a baby shower? 
What kind of candy board do you do it for a baby shower? Do you do like, oh my God, what kind of jelly beans? I'm trying to think of what kind of candies you would do for a, like a, a baby shower. We did, the last baby shower I did, we did uh, jelly beans because it was rainbow. Jelly beans and Starbursts and Skittles, and but we didn't do like a candy salad. I know that Mac and Laura hate the candy, the candy salad stuff. Do you think she'll give party favors? Um, she'll give free Alani. She's gonna get some Alani PR in blue, and that's what she's gonna give away. <laughs> She'll dig through her PR box. <laughs> you get a used makeup. You get a used highlighter. You get a used lipstick. You get a used face mask. Hey, you're crazy. So I was like, give me a Jordan almonds. She'll she'll get Jordan almonds. Out of here. Bruno's a water bug. Cha cha, not so much. You like the water? <laughs> you laying in the water? Why can't Bruno run around like um, Cha Cha? Who likes Jordan almonds? Um, not many people, I don't think. Leftover Easter candy? No, she's probably still. Ha you know, oh, PJ, BJ, she probably still has um, charcuterie stuff left over from what was it christmas eve i bet she still has that i bet she still has that stuff left over <laughs> i think it's good i think his name is gonna be chipotle chipotle bowl amazon rodriguez <laughs> Is it chili? Are you like? He likes it. Yeah! <laughs> and I like how he's going in circles. Cha cha, hop in. Oh my gosh! My dog did the same thing when he was digging in the mud, too. What's in there? What's in there? <laughs> my mom doesn't give a crap about it. Oh! I'm sorry, I drank too fast. Um. She's got the braids in. Does that mean we're going to get a Minty B video pretty soon if she's got the braids in? Oh, I'm crossing my fingers. Crossing my fingers. About the eclipse. When we got home at the time, we're like, it's about to start. And she's like, fine, I'm going to stay and watch it. I'm like, I can't spend my mom in this out. Like, that would be really bad for my mental health. That was the funny. She goes, you think I should leave for my mental health? I can't drive home in the eclipse. <laughs> What the hell? They're so idiot. They're such idiots. They're just idiots. God, they're such idiots. Ah, oh, so the dogs are in the backyard and we're waiting. I do have FOMO. Like, I don't... I, I, it's just not a thing that's on my radar. But, like, if I'm here and I just have to wait... How long do I have to wait for it to happen? Um, It's going to happen... 45 minutes? Yeah. Like, 40. 40 minutes. Okay. At least it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. You have our glasses? Yeah. My uncle gave us glasses on Easter, so... <laughs> he gave everyone a set of glasses. At least we're prepared. Brunion! Cha-Cha's in the woods. Wow. Exploring. Mom just looks at me and goes, are you going to film the eclipse? She looks like a hot mess. Like, I don't think I could. So, I was confused. <laughs> I was confusion about how these work. So, these are the glasses my uncle gave us. Did you realize you just said I was confusion about I did it on purpose. <laughs> oh, you're trying to be cute. <laughs> so, when you put these on, guys, this is my first eclipse, okay? So, don't judge me. It's pitch black. So, I was like, how does this... Oh, my God. I was confused as how to put on the glasses. Y'all, just when I didn't think there could be any stupider people in the world, Alex says, here, hold my coffee milkshake. Let me prove to you how stupid I actually am. This work. <laughs> it's kind of interesting though. And then I just look up and I'm like, oh my God. Right? <laughs> so right now the moon is ha half covering the sun and it's actually really cool in 29 minutes or so it's going to be fully covering it well not fully because we're not in the full are path we, of totality not, we're not in the full path. path i'm surprised she knows that word 
I'm surprised she knows what the totality was. No, we're in a pretty good chunk of it, though. So it won't go pitch dark. No, but how much? I wonder if it has a percentage written on here. Because I just. Yeah, tell me. I need oh, to... yes. Pull up your phone. Answers. Oh, the maximum is 0. 0.918. Girl, that's, that's pretty good. good for where we are at 3.29 p.m. It's 90%. 90% right now. That's what it seems like. I feel like you can even tell on the vlog that it's kind of darker. Yeah, no, I agree with Yarman. It looks like 90. 90%. Yep. Guys, it is darker and colder. Stop it. I don't care if there is a. Did she really expect. <sighs> <laughs> I don't care if there's an eclipse. I fall down the stairs chasing you. Cha-Cha doesn't like the eclipse. You're grounded. You're grounded. No, if you were supposed to put your dogs in the house. They're not supposed to be outside during the eclipse. They, oh, fuck me. Bruno, do you like the eclipse? Oh, oh thank you. Let me see if you stare at it. Want, want to give them your thoughts? Okay, let's see. We have four minutes. Four minutes till the peak here. I can't look at it. Yeah, I mean, it's like really skinny. <laughs> It's really skinny. What the? F she just doesn't know what skinny looks like. That's why. That's why she's calling it skinny. She doesn't know what skinny looks like. The the sun right now is a skinny legend. It's dark. It's getting darker. <laughs> you can feel the air is cold. The air is cold. The air is getting chilly. Like and it just. What do you think happens when the sun disappears? You fucking moron! My God, you are such a damn twat nugget. He's blocking the sun. That's our heat source. And right now, everything looks like it has sunglasses like on. A dark filter a, over it. A film filter over everything. The first eclipse we've seen. We don't remember ever seeing one before this, so. <laughs> Hello, baby. Oh, you can't see it because you're in your mom's belly. Oh, my God. You are talking to kiwi, something the size of a kiwi. Like, and it's. Oh, fuck. Hey. Mom be talking to the belly. I'll be talking to the belly. Every time, time I see her, she go, oh, hi, baby. <laughs> and then it's going to keep passing. She, the, the baby can't even eat. Mm. Sing over it and then a little slice. Oh, I just looked up. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? Was Listen, the baby can't hear because it is protected by all that fat. That's what it is. That's the baby can't hear you because it's like in an echo chamber. It can't hear you because it's so dark or not dark. It's so dark. Mm. Super bright. It was super bright, <laughs> doesn't it? Look. You want to take no, your final look? Funny. What the hell was that? Hold on. Just eclipse we've seen. We don't remember ever seeing one before. So. You're an idiot. <laughs> Hello, baby. Oh, you can't see it because you're in your mom's belly. Mom be talking to the belly. I'll be talking to the belly. Every time. Time. You're talking to her puff muffin. You're not even talking to her belly. You're talking to her puff muffin. I see her say, go, oh, hi, baby. <laughs> And then it's going to keep passing over it. And then a little slice. Oh, I just look up. <laughs> what did you think? Was it super bright? It was super bright. <laughs> Isn't it? Look. <laughs> you want to take oh, your. Oh, that. My God. Now I know where she gets it from. What the hell? What? Now you know why Alex is the way she is. Look at what Nancy just did to her. Good God. They have no boundaries. No boundaries whatsoever. If my mother did that to me. I would mm -mm. final look. My mother wouldn't do that to me. Silly. Take your final look before I do. Shirt and come back. I'll just look at it. I, it's okay. <laughs> We're all I afraid to look at it. it. I just looked at it. You idiot! You're not supposed What's to look at it. Yet? Hey, Asher, welcome to the bedroom. Period. Time. Yeah, just don't like stare at it. Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, it looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's I see. see. Oh, three twenty nine. Okay. There it is. There's a, there it is. It's skinny. Is. And there, here they are. They are waiting for the mothership to come and take them away. And Yar is hoping it happens soon as well. Hello, Asher. Would you like to join us? Thank you for the kiss. I appreciate it. It's happening. It's skinny. Here. All right. It's happening. It's cold. <laughs> see, what I want to see is when it's just... Why does she not understand that when the sun is covered up, it gets cooler? I'm going to need her to go back to science class. That's like basic science class. Like, hi, when the sun goes down at night, it gets cooler. What an interesting, interesting concept. Interesting concept.
dark. I don't want to. We're not in the, the totality. Sun. I just want to see. Yeah, but it's gonna be dark-ish. They, uh, the people who have it like 100, like it gets like dark, dark, like pitch black. Yeah, and that, yeah, I think I think that it's not. It wasn't pitch black. It was. It looked like it was like what dusk. 8 p.m. Dusk. Yeah, it looked like dusk. It wasn't pitch black because we were in the 100 totality, and it wasn't. Do not stand on my laptop. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. It's the place where That's it's more why, like, like emotional. Burn. Stop chirping. I mean, chirping. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to drive home in this because you thought it'd get like pitch black. <laughs> the whole thing. Well, plus, if you're driving while you're driving when you should be looking at the eclipse or partaking in it, that would be really messed up. Yeah. Like you should be partaking in it. <laughs> you shouldn't be driving. And they said well, it was so funny on the news. They're like, if you're trying to watch the eclipse while you're driving, please pull over on the shoulder. Well, you know, there's probably going to be people doing to avoid that. danger. Like, that's like, yeah, you would do it, Alex. So not safe, but people would. That's so not safe. Okay. So them, just an FYI, them looking up at the um, eclipse is not safe, but her driving, vlogging, in the car looking at the camera and moving her hands both hands off the wheel that's totally safe that's absolutely positively so safe that yeah okay do it yeah i mean that's it for us that's the max was that it that, yeah that's the max and now it now it's gonna go no, past the no, other no, way no no, no. this is got, it has to keep moving alexandra but it's no ours is gonna go past I've seen the video ours is gonna go past it not across but sideways okay so will it be going more up oh Oh, I thought it, I thought it went away. It was just the a branch. branch. Yeah. It was just a branch. She is trying. Branch. It was really scary. Mom, that's what happened to me earlier. I turned and a branch came, and I'm like, oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> Rebuilding exactly. This is dumber, dumb, and dumber trying to explain things to themselves. It's like, um, but Beavis and Butthead trying to explain things to each other, or Bill and Ted. Shout out to the Gen X kids. Uh that know what I'm talking about. Bill and Ted trying to explain these things to each other. Like, seriously. My God. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I just really cannot. Well, we saw the peak of it, and now... Is that really the peak? Are you sure? Yeah, I watched the videos. I must did nap for this. <laughs> Girl. Here. This is the peak. That's it? This is the bloody peak. It probably looks the same. That's the, the darkest peak. it's going to get. It looks the same. God, it's freezing out here. I'm actually very intrigued that it got so dark and cold. It's cold. Okay, A, it's not that dark. Oh, it's it's so just cold. It ain't. No, it's cold. You don't feel freezing? My God, feel they, are, they are the the dumb trio. They, they're they going to have a baby in their... In, they're going to have a tiny human that they are going to be in charge of. And that... Oh, Lord have mercy in the air. I feel freezing. Baby, do you feel freezing? Oh, God. Nobody warned me of this. Why, 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 why y'all, y'all, how could y'all not warn me? Y'all owe me now. You owe me for not warning me about this. This girl really thinks that this is a baby bump. She really thinks that this is a baby bump. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Rebuilding, you don't owe me. Oh my God. She really thinks that this is just the baby and no gunt. Oh my God. Go take a shit, Alex, and then your baby bump won't be so big. Baby, freezing. Clearly, I need a nap. Many hours later. Howdy. Guess what time it is? Ass crank, ass cream. <laughs> this here, ass cream. <laughs> you, you go, I'm laughing. It sounds like ass cream. She is such an idiot. Fuck me. Because oh. <laughs> you weren't laughing. I'm like, does he not get it? Babe, where's the other part? No, he doesn't get it because he's as dumb as you. Y'all are both. A box of rocks is smarter than the two of you. Feeny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we just made up a song. We were singing. Well, let's see if it's good. I'll do it, love. My sweet, sweet love. <laughs> I'm usually the one helping you, by the way. I know. Here, just just take take the camera, for the love of God. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I haven't done this in a really long time. I have to take the cover off. I know that much. It smells good. I think it's because you're too stupid to understand how to how to how to use this creamy. Looks good. Yeah, it smells like vanilla. Vanilla. Oh. Smells good. Eh? Although I do want to try it with oat milk. Yeah, we're gonna try it with oat milk for a creamier. Ready? See? Uh, Huzzah! And then we're doing light ice cream. Uh, 
tell you guys, huzzah, we did it. Don't say huzzah. You, you, you know, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. Take that out of your vocabulary, woman, girl. Well, she just said what? She said huzzah. My ass. She, she needs to take that bull. She needs to take that. She cannot have that. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. Letters from Lily. I'm sorry, but she has a definition of trailer trash. Ah, Lily, I am, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have been given the name of trailer trash, Tara. She can't have that either. That's mine. I love it. it. It just speaks to me. It goes with my vibes. And you have the t-shirt. And I have the t-shirt that says trailer trash pretty just because of that. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha says, not my ass <laughs> for the word. <laughs> no, no, no. Lily, I know you're not saying that I am. I'm not trailer trash. You're saying that Alex is. Alex is just trash. Just plain old generic trash. Tell them why she can't have the word huzzah. And Alex can't use the word huzzah because that's what we use in 15 what 43 but whatever 1543 in the renaissance they used that at our fair at at our fair and it says you know huzzah that's hip hip huzzah yeah you're a trailer treasure tara i love that that is i'm a trailer treasure i i'm on that's what's going to be on one of my shirts is trailer treasure i'm a trailer treasure i love that brina i'm gonna have to remember that Husband, remember that because you know I won't. <laughs> okay, back to ended up adding a little bit more almond milk and then just doing a respin, and then we mixed in our little sugar free chocolate chips. I think the oat milk, we both agree the oat milk would be better. That looks like frozen ice, like not f or frozen milk. That's what it looks like when you were a kid and you wanted to freeze the milk. That's what that looks like. Like you wanted to do a like, what? what? What, what will the milk look like if I freeze it? What will the chocolate milk look like if I freeze it? That's what that looks like. Why does she... Like, oh, Miss Maybe, she fails at everything. Why does she fail at everything? Like, seriously. She is just a human fail. Um, Versus, you know, almond milk. That's what we had. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, the flavor is really good. I also don't mind the uh, swerve sugar alternative instead. It tastes like you literally can't. That that is a OSHA hazard right behind Yar. Yep, tell. So yeah, we did it. All right, update. Don't step back, Yar. You're gonna fall. It taste ten out of ten. Delicious. It's too icy though. Don't do it with almond milk. It's just what we had. <laughs> Try something else. Probably a. The recipe says for fat free half and half, where you can do half and half, where you can do milk, protein shake, anything but almond milk. But the flavor was good, so we're on the right path. It says you, you can do anything but almond milk. And what does she have? Um, almond milk. My God. Like, she can't follow just fucking simple instructions. How hard is it to follow simple instructions? <sighs> 10 out of 10, but don't make it the way I did. <laughs> Okay, if I am making something and I see that I don't have it or I see that I don't have enough, then I will Google, hey, a substitute. And if I can't find a substitute that I agree with, we have a tiny little store right down the road. I'll just go to it. But if it's something that I can Google and it might be, you know, a better substitute or it might make it better, then I won't be using it. Like, I didn't have buttercream, buttermilk, not buttercream, buttermilk. Who wants to keep a big thing of buttermilk in your refrigerator when you only need like a half a cup? Guess what? Milk and sour cream make buttermilk. So that's what I did. Hello, you guys. So it is. Oh, okay. The couch cover is back. And look, she's been laying on the couch because the pillows are in the right way yes Johnny, you can do milk and lemon juice too yeah for buttermilk as well but i went the sour cream route because i wanted it really creamy um <laughs> this hair 
do we want to do we want to take I, I know we're not going to actually know the answer but bets on how long it's been since she you washed your hair I'm going to say that it's been at least nine days and two dry shampoos. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. Nine days and two dry shampoos. It's gross is what that is. If your hair is standing up like that and pushed back like that, you got some major grease buildup in there. Was it two days later? I did not vlog yesterday. Um, I just took I just took yesterday off. It was a really and her hair is thinning post bariatric. Yes, that definitely. I, I can attest to that. That because I have a lot of hair loss. My husband can attest it. But as two pigs are pretty clean. Yes, pigs are clean. And you know what? Um, everybody has said she eats like a goat and my goats like fruits and vegetables. So she doesn't eat like a goat. Really beautiful day. We sat outside, we grilled. I probably should have vlogged because we actually did like interesting things. I'm going to get my hair done today. So you did vlog. You vlogged watching the eclipse and then you showed a IG story of him turning the grill on because wow yeah yesterday since it was like 70 and the sun was like in the 70s that is look at that that is some i'm sorry you guys i can't get over how greasy her hair looks that is just it's disgusting my hair is curly so i can go at most three days without washing it but that's like at my, like I can't. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These I like laid out. I even tanned a little bit just on the porch in our little um, dining chairs that we have. But they rock, and I love to sit in a rocking chair. Um, so we grilled, and we. There's her IG right there. I'm surprised when she put this on her IG, she didn't say like dad energy because I added that. Grilled the Beyond Burgers. I made pasta salad with corn. It was. So they have pasta salad with corn. We have carb. We have carbs. We have carbs. Why do you need all of that for, for your dinner? That, holy hell, that is a lot of food. Corn, pasta, potatoes, burger buns. That is a shit ton of food. My. I, I can't eat. Like, I will do in the ranch. Um, and there's something behind the ranch, too. I can't tell what's behind the ranch. Oh, that's a drink. Uh, I can't tell what the drink is, though. It's a colored drink. I do know that it's probably Dr. Pepper diet, Dr. Pepper diet Coke or whatever. Um, oh, and the fake meat. Oh, gross. That it, it's whole that. Oh, and those are probably carrot fries or are they sweet potato fries? Who knows? They look like they might be sweet potato fries, but still her carrot fries normally turn burnt. It was delish. The burgers were so freaking good. So if you're looking for like a meat alternative, Good burger honestly we have like all the beyond meat products so far um but let me know if you guys have any favorites i'm also my husband would look at me like i had four heads if i said we were gonna try beyond meat there's just mm, 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 no starting to plan out some baby shower info i want to get the invites out um so that's super fun and exciting i was looking at all these different themes um i really like the bear ones we can barely wait i think that's Oh my God, a bear theme. We can barely wait. Yeah. <laughs> Is she going to make her child be the size of a bear too? Oh my God. Y'all. She should... Oh. 
it's really cute and I love like the neutral colors of it. I think it's really cute and just be very cozy. I was also looking into like a space theme since I had found his little toy rocket ship basket. Um, thought that might be cute. That basket ain't gonna hold nothing because it's, just, uh, it's gonna fall on him and it's gonna be like a hat. I also like um, little cutie with like little orange cuties. Um, and what else was there? Food, food related. There's a few, there's a few I liked and also like a garden party, floral theme. You're having a boy. Why would you do a garden party or a floral theme for a boy's baby shower? Why? I mean, I get it. No, I don't get it. Why would you do an orange theme, an orange cutie, like the fruit orange, why would you do a floral or garden party? Oh my Lord. So yeah, just going to start looking into planning that. I'm going to do it around the six months mark, um, which I think when I looked it up, that's a very normal time. No, it's have not. A baby shower? Like, there's all these different things. As that a- is not a normal time to have a baby shower. No, it's not. Um, also, most of the time, people don't sh- throw their own baby shower. They have people, whether it, you know, would be friends family they normally throw the baby shower um i know that you're going to use this stuff this for content i know that's why you're doing it um but really fast rule baby showers are often held at the end of the second trimester um no they're not normally at the end of the second trimester they're like the middle of the third trimester some people do it two months before the due date. I don't know. There's there's no right time to do it. Some people do it four to six weeks before the baby's due date. There is a right time to do it. And, you know, after 24 weeks would probably be the best. There's a lot of different options for everything. Um, But it's going to be fun. Her her Pinterest boy sounds really disappointing. She really thought she would have it. She really did think she was having a girl. The only shower that she needs to be thinking about right now is the shower to take her body to. That's the showers that she really needs to be thinking about is, you know, showering her body. Mom and I are going to plan it together. Um, and we're going to, I think we're going to do our own decorations. So it's going to be really fun. Of course, I'll take you guys along on that journey. But um, yeah, super excited. I will see you guys in a couple of days and I'm going to start a new vlog. Will shower Alex shower for the shower? No, nope, nope, nope. She won't. No. So I love you guys. Bye. How do you come on looking like a hot mess? Y'all, that's why I y'all y'all see my pretty picture of me pretty because I don't get dressed up every day. But I'm also not going to show y'all what a hot mess I look like after I have gone and done barn farm chores and haven't taken a shower yet because I am constantly working around the house. I'm not going to take a shower after every chore. That's ridiculous. But you guys, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so, um, um, I think Priscilla has already done a reaction to this one. I don't know if Nella has. I think she has. I can't. I don't remember. I remember seeing my subscriptions, but I don't know. Um, If y'all didn't check out Alan Roberts' reaction the other day to the egg bites, he literally just did the egg bites because he couldn't make it past that at all. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to think if there are any. Chris in real life has been doing her reactions to I did a reaction to Sarah Ray Vargas the other day and it's just recorded. It is not alive. Please go check that out. Um, I'm reading all of the comments now. Um, 
I guarantee you that if anything goes sideways and she's not, I mean, sideways as, um, um, if anything goes sideways as in she gets gestational diabetes or she gets, or has preeclampsia, um, we're not going to, she's not going to tell us about it because she's going to try to prove that she is um, as healthy as possible. Y'all know that. We, I think we all know that. Um, but just the fact that she thinks that baby, is, that, that, that belly is a baby bump. She looks like she's a normal, like eight month pregnant and she's not even there. She'll schedule a C-section. Y'all, she's already scheduled her epidural. Y'all know that, right? I'm surprised she's not walking around with a, um IV tree yet. With an epidural already in. <laughs> so, uh, you guys, I see y'all are, y'all are, the hair braid clickbait video. I hope I you know, I want a I want a mini bee. I want a minty bee. She next week she's gonna pack her bag too. <laughs> y'all crack y'all crack me up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my goodness, you guys crack me up. Um uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I can't remember y'all y'all distract me all the time with y'all. Y'all are hilarious. Y'all, it just y'all are so hilarious. And then the ones who um don't make it to the lives, they go and do the comments, and half of them are hilarious too. Most of them are hilarious, but uh there's always a few that are like, What? Hold on. But hilarious. Um, I was going to tell you something and I forgot what I was going to tell you. Okay. So let's see. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Sunday will come up. And again, I will be in my cell phone black hole. Um, you guys, I turned something, an app on my phone on mute this weekend. And I found a spot where I was just checking my phone and where there were no trees. And wow. oh my God, I had 220 messages to check on. And it was, um, the, um, the letters were found and I was like, damn it, something happened and I got to read it all. And it was so funny. My husband is like, Oh Lord. I sat there on a picnic table. Just He was talking to somebody, so I just sat there on the picnic table reading everything. Um, so, the eclipse did not, the eclipse, eclipse aliens did not take them away. We're going to have a floral baby shower. And y'all are all saying we're going to pack our bags next week for the hospital. Army is going to come nanny. He, she gonna get an. She's gonna get a granny nanny. Is what she's gonna do because we can't have a hot nanny come in there. Because the last thing she needs is a hot nanny. Oh, is it Val a nanny? Val from um, Curvy Connection. Isn't she a nanny? Val's going to be their nanny. Val's going to be their nanny. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a great plot twist? <laughs> Yar would totally partake in anything um, that the nanny would be involved with. <laughs> I just think it would be funny if the nanny's name was Amy, which is only one letter away from Army. Oh, if the, the the nanny's name was Amy, which is one letter away from that. Yes, that would be funny. Um, 
old nanny would school Alex too. Oh, she, oh, the nanny would fat shame her. An old nanny would fat shame her. So that would, that would be bad too. The nanny's going to come in and say, um, why is all this processed food in the house? <laughs> There'll never be a new house rule. Nobody else on the camera but me. <laughs> Nobody else on the camera but me. Is she going to have a, a security cameras all over in the house? I'm surprised she already doesn't. Like, in the house. Like, taking, not, not like nanny cams, uh, but yard. I'm surprised she doesn't have yard cams around the house to watch what he's doing while she's gone. Okay. All right. I'm going to go get more water because I drank all my water and I need more water. Um, you guys, I hope you, uh, you guys had a great time. Um, make sure you go like the stream. Uh, if you are not a subscriber, go subscribe. I am like in 884, 85 subscriber purgatory. So I, a thousand is just going to be great. Um, if you weren't in Priscilla's live the other day, now that, um, some of my life has cal calmed down. Um, I'm not falling anymore. I'm not getting sick anymore. My children are still my teenage children. Um, but I can get around finally to, to working on some merch. So uh, we're going to follow in line with Nella. Nella has some silverback merch. merch. We're going to have some Priscilla and Tara merch. 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 You should be different. That should be the name. Nurch. nurch. It's going to be Nurch. It's not going to be Merch. Um, we're going to have what it trailer trash treasure. That'll be trailer trash treasure from Brenna. Brenna. Mm -hmm. Um. So you guys, uh, nerd, nerd, nerd merch, nerd merch. Um. So you guys have a great rest of your evening or morning or wherever you are. Um. Go check out Priscilla. Go check out Nella. Go check out Chris in real life. Go check out Owen Roberts. Um, anything like that. Um, I am not going to be around on Sunday. I will be dressed in my pretty, pretty princess dresses. Um, and so um, I won't be around for a live on Sunday is what I'm trying to tell you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. Um, if you're lucky, I might check in and post a picture of us in our wonderful attire. Um, uh, but thanks for joining in this afternoon or this evening. Oh my God. I need, I need, another, I need more water. <laughs> Bye you guys.